day. Day one. It's a beautiful day. We got some rain this morning. Yes. It has to be like a good omen. We got our first morning rain on the first day of training camp. Now it's sunny. It's cooler. It's cooler. It smells nice outside. It smells kind of nice out here. I was going to throw for 4,000 yards, 40 touchdowns. What did Coop say? I'm giving the Cardinals double digit wins. Anywhere from 10 to 12 wins. Seriously? I'm telling you something, I'm a huge, and this uh, strictly Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray is a stud, big time player. Are we expecting some big news on day one? Uh, probably not. They're going to do that conditioning test, which is truthfully not that hard. Or it's not like back in the day where we we're out in the heat running gassers until somebody throws up. I don't think I've ever seen somebody puke during this conditioning test. So We would it. puke. We would, yes. <laughs> Feels good to be back. It's not the same without football, you know? You said that you thought there was a little too much Kyler for Kyler not being here at all. No, I didn't think there was enough Kyler for <laughs> Kyler not being here. So the run test was today. Apparently, uh, Kyler, the rookies, and some other selected veterans, they, uh, they did their run test last week when some of them reported. I didn't see DJ Humphreys out here either. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury said he's good. The left tackle is coming off a knee injury, so everything should be good to go when they roll out camp tomorrow. Uh, Kyler did not make an appearance today. Did see Larry Fitzgerald, looks in great shape. Patrick Peterson was here. Remember, he's going to be suspended for the first six games of the season. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury was asked about Pat, what his role is going to be so far this camp. He did mention that you know Pat's going to get his reps, but he also has to make sure those young guys are ready to roll. So those other guys, uh, not Robert Alfred, who starts opposite of him, but everybody else uh, is going to make sure they get plenty of reps because they're going to need another cornerback to start mm -hmm. for the first six games of the year. Uh, Cliff wasn't sure if uh, Pat was going to play at all this preseason. He didn't commit to anything, so we're not sure when we'll see Pat as mm -hmm. far as game is concerned or how many reps he'll get during camp. Did see David Johnson. Did he look like the Hulk? He like the Incredible Hulk? Massive. I think he's he, I think he benches like 500 pounds. Yeah, I know. He, His arms were like all, both of us together. Double the size and of my body. And he definitely didn't skip leg day. His legs were massive too. No. He, David, He's probably going to run through a few defensive yeah. lines on his own. Christian Kirk, by the way, did say this offense is built around the running game, which is interesting because, yes, we know they're going to throw yeah. the ball maybe 50 times a game. Yes, they're going to try and get the ball in Kyler's hands and let him run around with it. Yes, they want to get it in all the receivers' hands. Uh, but as someone who played in this spread offense in college, if the run game is not there, this offense will not work whatsoever. They'll man up these receivers, and it'll be so tough. Uh, to find open guys. So th there right. has to be an established running game. And it was good to hear Christian Kirk say that right off the bat. I did think it was a little interesting that when asked about what percentage the run pass was, he said it was 50-50. If it works correctly, and I can see that. And and that's what's going to make Kyler get comfortable as a successful yeah. run game. If that run game goes off the rails in week one, you know, there's going to be a lot of changes I, I can totally that they're going to have to make. If this offense is as successful as some people think it could be, that there could be a 50-50 split, mm -hmm. which would be fun to watch because that means they'd score a lot of points. Um, as we said earlier, no Kyler Murray today. Uh, he already did his run test. Everything's fine. So many questions about Murray today to his teammates on his role, how he's trying to impress vet, vets, how he's already won over the locker room, what's this offense going to look like, how mm -hmm. well does he know the offense. Uh, we'll, we'll air all that on, on 12 News a little bit later on today, but the consensus is they believe in Murray. He's got free reign to do what he wants with this offense. They're going to let him roll. They're going to give him the keys to the Cadillac day one. Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't seem like from talking with his teammates that there's a lot of pressure on this guy. Yeah, we interviewed Jordan Hicks and Christian Kirk, both very confident yeah. in Kyler um, as a leader, as a quarterback, and as a player as well. Um, Cliff, too. Head coach. Cliff as well. Something interesting that was kind of touched on in Cliff's press conference was uh, this offense might be something that is unique to the entire NFL. And the, the balance that Cliff is going to have to find with – what to show, what not to show in preseason, but also you have so many young guys and such a new offense yeah. for many of these veterans even. Where do you kind of draw the line? Of So he might he might have um, a lot of decision-making to do going into preseason because he, he hasn't coached a preseason. Just as I said earlier, I ran this offense, or a similar version of his offense in college. We ran base plays mm -hmm. in uh, right. when we were getting ready to go 
we had preseason obviously in college, but we were scrimmaging. It was just base plays to get to know the basics. I wouldn't be surprised uh, if that's what the Cardinals do here. They got about 10 to 20 base plays in this offense that they can build off of. That turns into 100 plays when you move people around and call different things out. Mm -hmm. uh, but it wouldn't be surprised if they keep it very basic, very simple for these first preseason games. And then you'll see Cliff open up the playbook, move guys around to get guys into space. But uh, first and foremost, you got to be good at your basic concepts in this offense. Mm -hmm. Got to be good at the basic routes um, that can lead to big plays. And then you start mismatching and moving guys around. So I, I, I get what he's saying. Keep it simple the first you know, four games of the preseason, trying to get guys comfortable and then open it up uh, when, they, when they roll out their week one. Absolutely. We got four more weeks of this? Four more weeks. Oh, it's a beautiful this is day, day one. Look Here, at the grass. Check out the grass. New grass. New grass. Pretty beautiful. Yeah. Alright, we're going to go shoot some packages. Yep. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Day one. Tomorrow. Thank you.